What's up guys, it's Full Snack Developer here and today we are getting started in Intro to Web Development. So in this course, I'm going to be taking you guys through um, learning web development from the ground up. Uh, taking it right from scratch and uh, getting you up and running. So uh, in this video, we're going to be, uh, we're not going to get into the code. We're going to just uh, be talking about what you need to set up your development environment and then we're going to move into the code after. Uh, so basically the first thing that you're going to need is a text editor now i realize that you uh you already have one every computer has one to start with but that's not what you're going to want to be doing web development in so we're just gonna we're gonna skip past that one and uh and get going with um with actual uh tools that real web developers use so um uh, what i use is actually sublime text 3 which is what i'm going to be using for this course um, but there's a couple other options. So if you uh, pop open uh, your your browser, and uh, a couple options are, um, like I said, Sublime is one. Uh, so if you just type, uh, yeah, Sublime Text, there it is. Um, it takes you right down to the download page. This is an option. Another option is uh, Atom. Uh, it's also um, absolutely free. Both are free. Uh, Sublime does have... Um, a pop-up that comes up uh, every once in a while saying, hey, would you like to buy? Would you like to buy? Um, I, I definitely say it's worth the buy. Um, I purchased it right when I started doing uh, web development, and uh, it's been one of my uh, most used purchases. So for sure worth it. Um, but if you'd like a free version, uh, Atom is also extremely good, and um, both are extremely well-backed. You can use other ones like um, Visual Code uh, or... Um, uh, you know, uh, WebStorm, um, whatever your preference is, uh, but these are the two best uh, free or free-ish versions. Um, so, uh, yeah, you're going to want to just uh, download, download, install. Um, they both just come in the form of um, <clears throat> DMG files um, that you can just install. So that's going to be your first one. Um, and as you can see here, I changed mine to... Um, uh, a little BMO from Adventure Time, as you can tell. I like BMO. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, typically Sublime is this, yeah, this uh, ribbon S there. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be your first and most used um, piece of software in uh, web development. Um, the other one that you're going to want to get is um, if you're on a Mac, you're going to want to be using MAMP. And uh, if you're on PC, you can use, um, there's a couple other options for that one, LAMP. Excuse me. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using MAMP, um, both the uh, essentially the same idea. So <clears throat> go into this one, and uh, you can download it. Um, I would say the free version is definitely sufficient. Uh, the paid version basically just has a nicer interface. Um, so <clears throat> no real need past the free version. Um, so basically what MAMP is is it's an Apache server. Um, so it turns your computer into a local dev server. So uh, the internet um, is just a bunch of servers connected to each other um, and serving information to clients uh, in a nutshell. Uh, and basically what MAMP does is it turns your local computer into a server so that you can have all the same capabilities as you would uh, on the live internet. Um, but don't worry, uh, it's only uh, accessible by you. So um, yeah, that's the gist of what MAMP is. So you can go ahead and download it, install it, um, and um, it's going to show up in your folder, uh, in your in your applications. Probably ask you to drag and drop into applications. It's going to show up as two folders. Um, it's going to throw the pro one in there. Don't worry about that one. Uh, so if you just click into MAMP, you can see here. Here's the application icon and uh, a bunch of other uh, files. You don't need to worry about too much about them except for this one. So basically. <clears throat> The preset for MAMP is uh, HT, uh, HT Docs, um, and this acts as the server folder. So basically, um, when MAMP starts up, uh, it looks to HT Docs as your virtual server. So that's where we're going to put our uh, website files. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is, um, I already, already have it installed, so I'm going to pop it open here. 
uh, and you're, you're faced with this panel here when it comes up open. Um, and I'm just click on preferences. I'm going to go over to web server. Uh, and here you can choose between what kind of server you're using between Apache and, and GINX. Um, but uh, we're going to stick with uh, Apache for uh, the purposes of these tutorials. Um, and you can see here I already have it switched over to a different folder. So <clears throat> rather than having it inside, have my, uh, my server folder inside of my MAMP folder and all the way in there, um, all you have to do is click on the, uh, the dot 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 folder, um, select the folder that you would like to now become the server folder and select, go OK. And then when we start up the servers, which I'm doing right now, um, it's going to look to this folder here as our server. So uh, when you start up MAMP, it automatically opens up um, this um, their, their website here. All you have to do is delete that. And then now we are running on localhost uh, port 8888, and it's looking to the index of this folder here. So that's where we're going to be putting um, our website files. So that's basic, uh, basically all you need to do to get up and running in web development. Um, when we start getting into the coding, I'm going to show you, you know, even a more basic version that you don't even need MAMP for, uh, and then we're going to work our way up from there. But uh, for the purposes of the uh, dev setup, this is everything you need. Um, we are going to be using other uh, softwares going into other to uh, other tutorials, um, but I'm going to cover those and uh, uh, yeah, cover those softwares when we get into those tutorials. But for the basics, this is what you need. So. Uh, stay tuned for the other videos, and we're going to continue on intro to web development. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.